guys, welcome to Chrissy's Books. I am Chrissy. Thank you so much for tuning in to Chrissy's Books this week. As usual, if you do like my book reviews, uh, subscribe below so you can get the latest reviews where I keep it real. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. So for this week's read, I read dun, 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 Valentine by Elizabeth Wetmore. So you're probably wondering why I'm not holding a real book. Uh, and it is because I received a um, advanced review copy from HarperCollins Publishers uh, through NetGalley. So thank you so much for sending me a advanced copy of this book, um, which actually came out in March uh, 31st of this year. So I kind of read it a, little, a bit late. But thank you so much for sending me a copy of this great book. And I just kind of like holding something during my book reviews and also you sort of get a nice sense of what the book cover looks like because, you know, I do like my book covers. So uh, Valentine was a book, when I saw the uh, actual cover of the book, I actually really, really liked it, and I fell in love with it. And when I had read what the book was about, it's, like, totally up my alley, so I had to give this book a read. Also, I'd heard really great reviews about it everywhere, uh, social media, websites, you know, everyone was talking about this book and how great it is. So I wanted to get my hands on it. And I did. So uh, Valentine um, is set in Odessa, Texas uh, in 1976, um, uh, where it is set to be the location for uh, the next great oil boom, um, which is really great news for the men of Odessa, Texas, because it means obviously they'll get more work. But the women uh, dread this because it sort of brings more debauchery and wild antics from the men, which is not really a good thing for the women. Um, so we follow two main characters in this book, and it is Gloria Ramirez and Mary Rose Whitehead. So one day, Gloria, um, the day after Valentine's Day, uh, so the mo very early morning of uh, the day after Valentine's Day, uh, Gloria turns up in Mary Rose's ranch um, asking for help. And Gloria is completely wounded. I mean, she was brutally attacked and she was almost left for dead. Um, she was not in a good uh, place when she turned up at Mary Rose's porch um, asking for help. So that is the setting of the book, basically. And um, Odessa, Texas is a town where, especially in 1976, where men basically ran, ran the place. Um, women's rights, especially if you are of Mexican descent, were rarely ever seen. Uh, so there was really not that much justice going on for women um, in that time, especially if you are an immigrant, um, which they obviously did not like. Uh, so yeah, so that is sort of the premise of the book. And this book is about race, it's about class, it's about women's vulnerabilities, it's about inequality, it's about violence, um, sexism. So that is sort of the, the whole shebang of Valentine. Um, so I gave Valentine a rating of a 6 out of 10, which means that it's got something. Uh, it's not great, but there is something to take away from this book. So that was my rating for Valentine. And let's talk about what I liked and what I didn't like about this book. So because this book had uh, really great reviews, I had really high expectations for it. I was expect expecting it to be really amazing and just like mind blown. But when I actually read it, it just sort of felt like it was just like this the entire time when I was reading it. So I wasn't like super attached to the story at all. Um, the things that I liked about the book was that I really liked the setting of the book. Um, Elizabeth Wetmore is a really good writer. She was very, very, not overly descriptive, but she was very descriptive in the way that she described the setting for um, this book in Odessa, Texas. And it really felt like you were right there. It was moody, it was haunting. It was just a nice setting. And also drove through there last year during my road trip. So I kind of definitely remember what it was like. And she definitely captured it, especially during 1976. Uh, obviously, I wasn't there, but I can imagine what it was like. So she's very, very descriptive in a book um, in the backdrop, which I really liked. And also liked the story. I liked the plot. I actually liked what the book was about, which is why I picked it up. And I was like, let me read this book, um, because it talks about a lot of issues that I'm quite passionate about. And um, I liked that she had covered these issues in the book. So I really do appreciate that from Elizabeth Wetmore. Um, 
And uh, yeah, the things that I did not like uh, was that I was just bored. I really was. I just sort of like never felt fully connected to the book. I felt a bit detached from the story. And I think one of the me main reasons why that was is because there were so many characters in this book. Um, there are two main characters, which is Gloria and um, Mary Rose, but there are about five or six other characters. So we get um, the stories told from lots of different point of views. Um, and I just don't think that we needed that many characters in the book. Their stories are great. And I like the characters a lot. They were, you know, they did have some richness to them. But I felt that because there were so many characters, you actually lost what the book was about. And you lost the sort of connection to Gloria's story and to Mary Rose's story. So in that sense, that's probably why I didn't really feel too attached to the book. I just would have preferred if it was sort of just told from two perspectives. I felt like I would have actually gotten a lot more out of it personally. Um, so yeah, that's what I didn't like about the book. Um, and uh, yeah, so I just, I really had high hopes for it and I wanted to really like it, but I just, I didn't love it. That's just the, how I felt about it, honestly. Um, so this book, I would describe it as uh, raw, authentic um, and beautiful and poignant. Uh, so even though I did not uh, love it, I did think that it had all those qualities in the book, which I really do respect from Elizabeth Wetmore. It's one of those books where you're either going to really love it, like, you know, most of the internet did, or you're just not going to like it and you didn't, you're not going to feel attached to it, which is how I felt. Um, so obviously this is just my opinion of the book. So, you know, it is worth a read uh, just because, you know, a lot of people did love this book. So I think it's worth a shot. Um, if you definitely give it a go. And the song that I chose for this book is by Leslie Gore and it's You Don't Own Me. Um, and the reason why I chose that song is because I really think that Gloria represents that song really well. She's quite feisty and sassy, even though she had uh, quite a terrible experience in this book. She's still quite a feisty young girl. And um, I just like that song too. So I feel like it fits with the book and it's to do with women's rights and inequality. So yeah, check it out. Click on the song if you want. And be sure to, to subscribe below. And thank you so much, guys. And tune in next week for my uh, fun video. Don't tell me what to say.